Welcome Metricolors, we are continuing on with our course. In the previous video, we talked about how to create an account, as well as how to connect your various social media platforms to our tool. Today, we get to get on into some of the fun stuff, and we are going to be talking about the analytics section of our tool. With our analytics section, you will not only be able to analyze your own metrics, but you will also be able to analyze your competitors. Super exciting. I am also going to be touching on a couple of our other functionalities that you will hear about more in depth later on in the course, such as reporting and hashtags. Our analytics section will help you strengthen your social media strategy, so let's go ahead and dive right on in. <laughs> Today we get to get into some of the fun stuff on Metricool and we are going to be talking about analytics. So before I begin just really just showing you what the analytics looks like, I'm going to just talk a little bit about why analytics are important. Metrics and data are super important so that you can succeed on social media. By having in-depth analytics that you can track over a certain period of time, you can see what is and isn't working in your social media strategy and then take that data and adjust your strategy so that you can further improve and keep growing and keep seeing those results. With our in-depth analytics, there are so many different ways that you can track your metrics and, and like apply that to your posts, to your posting schedule, and it really just is a super beneficial way to grow and to improve. So with that being said, let's dive on into what the analytics section of Metricool looks like. So you're going to see on the basic analytics page on the left hand side, you're going to see a tab that has all of your connected platforms as well as a summary. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll see a couple other features as well. For now, I'm just going to talk about the analytics in this section of the video. I'm going to begin with the brand summary page because I like this page because it really encapsulates everything that you need to know about all of your connected platforms at once. And then I will also go in and show you a little bit more of detailed metrics for a specific platform after the fact. So in the summary page, you can see all of your connected accounts and all of the data just nicely summed up in graphs as you scroll down. You can also see a specific time frame. Right now I have it set as the last 30 days, but as you can see, you can literally just look at yesterday, the last week, the current month, the previous month, or even go farther back for three, six, or 12 months. I am going to keep it at the last 30 days, and then I'm just going to quickly go through this summary and show you just what this sums up nicely in one specific section. So you'll start to see here at the very top, you'll see followers and you'll see with an arrow indicating if they went up this week or the, in this specific time frame or if it went down as well as the each individual social platforms with their own boxes and then underneath that you'll even see graphs that'll tell you exactly what days you gained a certain amount of followers or lost certain amount of followers and you'll see that this is also the case for impressions you'll see you know if they're going up or down and you'll also see a graph that will also entail what specific days you are maybe getting more impressions or getting less impressions you can also see the number of interactions that you had for each platform the number of posts that you did for example we obviously post the most on twitter and then the least on pinterest and you can see that in the graph as well as in the nicely summarized boxes if you keep going down, you can even see your most popular posts for that time frame. So for example, because I am looking at the last 30 days, the metrics will pull your most popular posts across all of your connected platforms and show them in a nice list of posts. So as you can see here, one of our TikToks was the most popular when it received over 100,000 impressions on February 6th. If you keep going down, you'll also even be able to see any associated ad accounts. And that is just a really great way to get a nice overview of how your social platforms are doing in one specific location on Metricool. However, let's say for example, you really want a more in-depth look at your analytics. You can pick a specific platform and really dive deeper into that. So I'm going to use Instagram as an example, as that is one of our most popular platforms. So when you go into Instagram, you'll see at the top that if you click on each of these tabs, it'll take you directly to that section in the analytics section, but I am just going to scroll down so that I can show you a good overview of everything that we offer. So first you'll see community. So this is going to indicate things like, you know, your followers, 
the amount of daily followers that you gained, your followers per post, following daily posts, posts per week. And then again, similar to the summary page, you can see if you are growing or decreasing. It'll show you your balance of followers. And this graph here will show you like how many followers you gained per day. And there is even a little blurb that will show you if you did happen to lose a follower. Then we'll go into the de demographics section, which again, demographics is super important in your analytics because of course you want to know where your ideal audience is, who your ideal audience is. And we break this down really nicely. You can see it here in table by gender. You can also see a graph of the ages. And then you can also even see location, which is super helpful to know where your audience is coming from. For example, with us, the United States is the biggest as this is the Metrical English account. And then you can even further see by city. Then if you keep going down, you'll see the profile. So you'll see how many website clicks we had, our average reach, reach per day, our impressions, as well as posts right here in this nice little graph. You can see posts published in a specific period. So it's things like your organic interactions, the types of content that you're seeing do the best. So for example, you know, we do a lot of images we do a lot of carousels as well, with video being the least amount of type of content we post. You can also see your impressions by organic or promoted. We didn't do too much promotion this past month, so a lot of it is organic. And then you'll also get your list of most popular posts. So that'll show up in this section as well. And you can even see more information. So you can see things like impressions, organic reach. And if you keep scrolling over, you can see comments, interactions, engagement and really just get that in-depth look at each individual post as well. A quick little trick for you that is really great is that if you click on more, you'll get the caption that you used for that post and you can even take this information and repurpose it to other types of content. So that's just a quick little tidbit for you. And then if you also look, you can also see, hit view and it's gonna open up a new tab and it's gonna show you where that post goes. So obviously this is Instagram and it will show you what the post looks like on Instagram. If we head back over here, you'll also see that you can boost. Boosting is a great way to get your post seen by a larger audience, and it's very easy. You just hit boost. You can specify how much you want to spend and hit accept. We make boosting super easy within our platform. So that is what the in-depth platform sections look like, and it's going to be fairly similar across the board for all of the other platforms. For example, here's Twitter, and you'll see similar things like balance of followers, growth, acquisition. You can also see mentions, tweets published in the period, interactions. We can also look at Facebook, which again is going to be similar. You'll have a page overview section, a clicks on page section, a posts, reels, competitors. And again, you can do this for all of your connected platforms, which is really nice. Specifically for TikTok, I can even go down here and show some of other metrics that are specific to TikTok. For example, you can do the total time watched. If your traffic is coming from For You, follow hashtag sound. We really do provide in-depth analytics. So going back to Instagram really quickly, I do want to touch on our competitor analysis section. And this is really great because we can provide competitor analysis for Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. It is free for up to five competitors on our free account and then up to 100 once you go into our premium plans. However, with YouTube, that is only available on our premium plans. So I'm going to show you an example of how you can use this competitor analysis to really elevate your social media strategy. For example, here I have a couple of accounts. I am using just active accounts such as Nike, Adidas, Puma, and Under Armour. And as you can see, it will tell you what type of accounts you can add as competitors. So only professional Instagram accounts can be added. I am going to go ahead and add another competitor just so you can see how quick and easy it actually is. I am going to add Gymshark because I do know that that is a business account and they are also an active wear account. So as you can see, Gymshark has been quickly added. And again, you can change this by a time frame. So I'm still going to keep it for the past 30 days. And these are the metrics associated for the past 30 days on the accounts. 
And again, you can see followers, the posts, reels, likes, comments, engagement, and you can even click into more stats and it's gonna give you even more in-depth analytics. You can also see their more popular posts and you can use this for inspiration or to see what is and isn't working and how maybe you can apply that back to your niche. And of course you can add up to 100 if you're using our premium accounts and four or five free on our free account. So here I have five. So if you were operating on the free account, this would be the maximum that you can do, but this is game changing for strengthening your social media strategy. Moving on, I also really quickly want to touch on a couple of other features we do have in our analytics section, such as reports. Reports are a premium feature, but we make it super easy for you to create reports in minutes. You can change the period, the language, you can choose from templates that you have had from before, or you can create a new one. And then you can toggle on or off specific sections you want to export into a report. You can customize the report with your logo and then generate as a PDF or a PowerPoint. Like I said, this is a premium feature, but it is 100% worth it. And you can even automate those monthly reports, making it super nice if you are an entrepreneur, social media manager, or simply want to extract your metrics in a nice, clean document. We also have our hashtag tracker in the analytics section. And this is if you want to track a specific hashtag on Twitter or Instagram. This is a paid feature, but it is another way for you to be able to track what is and isn't working, or if you have a specific hashtag for a specific event, there are many ways you can use the hashtag tracker and it is very insightful. Like I said, our in-depth analytics really are a great tool for you to continue to improve upon your social media strategy. And there are many, many different ways that you can use these data points. You can use it for your reports. You can use it to decide what you are going to post within the coming month many different ways to use all of these metrics and as you keep exploring and diving in it will also get easier for you to understand just everything that we offer analytics wise and that is just going to be a great wrap up of our analytics section in future videos i will be going more in depth it onto the specific platforms but this is a nice overview of everything that we offer in one location and that wraps up the analytics section on metrical and the next video we are going to be going over how you can actually plan out your content in our planner feature this is going to include functionalities like multi-posting the best times to post previewing your feed and many many more features if you made it this far into the video don't forget to, that you can use code try free and that's going to give you 30 days free of any of our metrical pre premium plans. And with that, go ahead and learn a little bit more about the analytics section and I will see you in the next video. Bye, Metricoolers! <laughs>